what's up guys so it's been a long time i'm on a light i wanted to try uh, another aosp but i was uh, not getting the time also i was uh, having some work personal work so we have cr droid currently bliss room and uh, we have okay i will skip hyper os for now and we have this room okay project infinity the steps are a little bit uh, different from other rooms like uh, you know you have to flash wonder boot and recovery once again after you are done flashing so we'll flash this room for now so you need to download the files so let me show you what are the files needed so i have the files already one is the project infinity file then the recovery image and the vendor boot so yeah that's all required now let's boot to fast boot and then we'll proceed so guys uh, we are in fastboot right now so just type cmd here uh, yeah and just type enter and then we proceed with the commands so you will flash recovery using this command fastboot flash recovery then just drag and drop the file similarly for vendor boot then just reboot to recovery using fastboot reboot recovery and then just wait your device will boot into recovery so guys device has booted into project infinity recovery we need to read instructions side by side uh, first we will we have done the step one now we'll adb site load then we will factory reset fine we'll do these steps first for now yeah so for adb site load you don't need to do anything just click on apply update and then just apply from adb obviously you can't see that because the color is pink so yeah this is the option so yeah and then just uh, type from the cmd menu here yeah give it some time and then uh, your rom installation process will start yeah so wait for 47 percent it will stop at 47 percent something like that if i can recall so guys it's just as i said that you will get a pop-up at 47 percent uh, that uh, do you want to additional install packages or not just click no we don't want to install anything this rom comes with gaps guys so just click no here after that uh, you will boot into the recovery screen anyways uh, let's go and read the instructions because we should always follow the instructions you know so yeah we are done with step one we're done with step two then step three is factory reset so we'll do the factory reset as well uh, factory reset format data factory reset um, uh, okay 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 this cannot be undone fine we will format data uh, resetting format data complete fine so we'll just come back and we are in this recovery screen let's see what are the next methods now reboot to bootloader okay you don't uh, reboot to system now else you'll face boot loop so just reboot to bootloader that is fast boot mode where do you get that it is here advanced so click on advanced and just reboot to bootloader click there only okay so i clicked out there so let's see that i boot to fast boot or not uh, fine so we are booted into fast boot instructions flash vendor boot and recovery then reboot to system fine we'll do that so guys uh, i said that you have to flash the recovery and vendor boot once again let me check the steps once again so that's it flash vendor boot and recovery once again and just reboot to system so we have given the command guys fast boot reboot let's see what happens do we boot into infinity project infinity or something like that or not we have completed all the steps we flashed once again the recovery and the vendor partition and you can see that the infinity logo has begun as well so yeah uh, so don't forget guys uh, yeah i need to uh, you know <laughs> what was the command i was not going to use the power buttons so yeah so the command is this how to just reboot this is fast boot reboot so the steps are simple guys one second swing um, let my device boot meanwhile uh, i guess it has booted so yeah allow usb debugging fine we'll do it so guys my device has booted let me go through uh, the steps once again so first of all uh, this vendor boot and recovery then you'll just side load the room then factory reset then reboot to your uh, bootloader which is the fast boot then you have to flash vendor boot and recovery once again after that just fast boot reboot so yeah these are the commands if you want to know once again 
so yeah completed the setup guys welcome to infinity x uh, this is my first time trying infinity let's see it's totally clean guys does not come with any bloats or all anything like that so high owner uh, looking nice sucks looking so we have like 14 gb taken by the system and the dpi is giving me ocd so i'll change it uh, just in some time about phone poco f6 uh nice nice Android 14 official infinity x snapdragon 8 s gen 3 atharpa bhai real king v4 uh do we have a case you or not i need to find this out i will install the case you apk and see if i have it that's great because it is coming with uh, rkv4 kernel so this will be my first time with rkv4 kernel uh, i got uh, okay restarting launcher something like that we got anyways uh, i have to do a lot of setups and stuff so give me one or two day guys and i will be back how this performance and all everything so see you guys peace so guys if you are first time into infinity x uh, you'll see that uh, yeah this contains everything so um, all this you know whatever source stuff so yeah and uh, the panel will be something like that just typical you know a 14 experience so yeah as i am uh, using this uh, Infinity X latest ROM, Project Infinity, or whatever you call it. Uh, I'm a little bit, you know, unhappy with the kernel used here. Uh, because you see, the idle drain is a little bit too much. I'm not even using anything. Just, uh, I don't have much of the apps installed as well. Just, uh, I flashed it two or three days, something like that. Uh, but the battery backup, I guess it might be an issue with, uh, because the RK V3, which I was using, uh, KSU1, this is also KSU1. This has a little bit more active drain because see I am not using my phone for anything just was uh, checking some mails and just was using Twitter that's it I am not using my phone even and the active drain is just 10% like why I mean idle drain is fine idle drain is not that much it was just 4% today but I am kind of unhappy with this uh, active drain anyways I will uh, charge it full and I will uh, see that how much does it drain and all but uh, probably I'll do that tomorrow but these are the first impressions I'm not happy with the kernel I mean stock kernel or RKV3 kernel gives better active drain from this so anyways peace so guys this is uh, what the battery backup I have got on uh, infinity project infinity which is with the RKV4 kernel I know the SOT is a little bit less, the idle is a bit high as well. When all I'm doing is just using Twitter and some anime. But anyways, uh, we'll give it two or three tries, then I can give my full review. Also, guys, uh, COC new update has just arrived. I'm on Town Hall 15. Uh, sorry, pardon, uh, 17. By the way, let me show you. I am a maxed uh, Town Hall 16 player, the update just dropped today and you can see I am on Town Hall 17. Uh, you know this uh, game brings back a lot of memories, I played it first uh, when I was in standard 11 like 6 to 7 years ago or even more, I can't recall. Uh, I, it should be more, not 6 to 7 years, it was in 2015 probably I guess. So this game brings back a lot of memories so if you're still playing this uh, drop a like or a comment in this <laughs> uh, yeah a lot of work to do here so see you guys peace also guys a very good morning so just wanted to show you the idle drain and all that on infinity and you can see that uh, in eight hours or most idle drain was just three percent and 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 i had wi-fi and bluetooth booth turned on i didn't turn off bluetooth last night but i forgot and uh, so yeah this is what uh, my screen on and screen off are screen off is just for eight hours and it was just three percent so should be fine if you are connecting to wi-fi always and bluetooth this does not drain more so yeah peace
because unfortunately uh, screen just freeze for some time and when i was just going to take the phone and it just uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> i got back to normal so i just could not show in camera what happened so what happened is i was just watching a youtube video let me show you just a second what's up guys so probably my last uh, video for infinity project or whatever that is uh, not only really fine room guys it comes uh, with official and signed build as well so which it uh, means that uh, you will never have issues with uh, the play integrity or something like that so you don't uh, need anything uh, i mean it will do it automatically and secondly gaming is fine guys i will uh, add the gaming ones in a separate video i want to make this only installation and my views about it uh, it comes with uh, camera app as well it has the portrait 60 uh, sorry pardon i mean the portrait back fixed as well 4k 60 will be fixed later 4k 60 has not yet been fixed for aosp and yes scene app does not work so i cannot uh, check the fps uh, and uh, sot is uh, pretty much great like it was bad uh, when i just fresh installed it like for the first one or two days after that it's quite great i'm getting like six to seven hours with gaming as well and uh, yesterday i just fully drained it because i was testing at highest uh, graphics uh, i'll add that in the second video as well you'll see the highest graphics gameplay and all that and uh, what i found out that uh, the fastest charging occurs when your phone is switched off like it literally uh, uh, from 0 to 100 percent under like 40 minutes like it was in uh, 35 to 40 minutes uh, like so it is the fastest guys yes it's truth i tested it personally so yeah it's my uh, opinion so today what we'll be going to flash is uh, we'll be flashing uh, rising os so see ya guys in rising